Hello everyone, welcome to the Train Your Brain session with your scientific mentor Deep Chikha. This session is specially designed to train your brain and to emphasize on learning by uh, making a brain map. So whenever a word or a disease condition or any instrument or anything comes in front of your eyes, you should always close your eyes and just relate all the words that are uh, coming in your mind, जैसे कि अगर मैं बोलू कि बारिश तो बारिश से आपके दिमाग में जो जो भी रिलेटेड पकौड़े अच्छा मौसम कंबल मूवी नींद सपने या फिर जो भी कुछ आता है तो यू जस्ट मेक अ ब्रेन मैप कि हाँ ऐसी सारी चीजें हो रही है सो सिमिलरली वाइल यूर रीडिंग यू कैन जस्ट इम्फोसाइज योर ब्रेन टू मेक अ मैप of a particular disease condition so we'll just start the session so the question is what is pneumonia so i'll just give you 2 seconds or 2 minutes to just uh, relocate rethink this word in your mind and whatever terms whatever sign and symptoms whatever test whatever picture is coming in your mind just let those things wander let those thoughts come in your mind you can pause my video and think of it pneumonia is an infection of the lungs most cases of pneumonia are caused by bacterial infections and the most common cause in the united states is the bacteria streptococcus pneumonia and not only the united state but in lot of places the major cause is streptococcus pneumonia other bacteria such as mycoplasm and uh, legionella as well as certain viruses also can cause pneumonia which is often called as a typical pneumonia because these less common infections do not always are the classical pneumonia symptoms but what is actually happening in pneumonia so the pneumonia is a condition in which your healthy bronchial and alveoli got constricted or your alveoli instead of filling with air is filled up with excess of mucus or excess of uh fluid so what is the actual function of alveoli the actual function of the alveoli is to transport gases and to exchange gases be it carbon dioxide or the uh oxygen from the cell to the blood and then to the alveoli from the alveolar to the lung area and then to the environment so this is the process in which alveolar acts as a mediator where actually the exchange of gases are taking place but when instead of air there will be excess of mucus or there would be constriction of the alveolar obviously the actual function of the alveolar won't be taking place so what are the sign and symptoms of alveoli i would be naming up these signs and symptoms and would want you to correlate that how these symptoms are uh, linked here and why these symptoms are coming so high chills uh, or the, the chills high fever which is a symptom of infection obviously because there is an invasion of microorganism in the body the body will uh, cope up with this the body will react and then there would be fever and chills headache loss of appetite mood swing because the person is ill and obviously there is a connection of brain with every organ because brain in the center vascular system ki agar hum log baat kare there would be low blood pressure talking of heart there would be high heart rate gastric conditions such as nausea and vomiting are seen there would be uh, pain in the joints fatigue muscular ache 
talking about skin there would be clamminess blueness that is usually we, we call it cyanosis because obviously exchange of gases are not occurring properly the cells are not getting enough oxygen and then that the signs that would usually come is cyanosis coming to the major lung symptoms that is cough with sputum shortness of breath which is the actual first sign when the patient come to opd they come up with i am having difficulty in taking breath uh, i am not able to take breath what should i do so whenever the patient is coming up in the medicine opd or in the resp opd pulmonary opd with these complaint do investigate the proper sign and symptoms of the patient do physical examination take history properly assess the patient pleuritic chest pain and hemoptosis so with okay. this i would request you to make a brain map of all the functions all the signs and symptoms that i uh, named now and what is actually happening in pneumonia thank you